Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. So today I'm going to be reacting to a new band that I haven't heard before. They're called Motion Device and they are another family band like The Warning. This is a Patreon request from my new patron, Michael Germann. So thank you, Michael, for joining the Patreon. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background information on the band as I have not heard them before. So according to their website, Motion Device is a rock band from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They started uploading videos to YouTube in 2011 of covers of rock and metal bands. And then as they grew, they started writing their own material, which really took off. And they're an independent band, so they're really crowdfunded. Their third crowdfunding campaign in 2017 resulted in the release of their double CD concept album, Wide Awake, that has over an hour and 45 minutes of music. We're going to be listening to the title track off of that record today. And then they also released a fourth studio album in 2020, a self-titled project called Motion Device 4, which was recorded in their studio, which was crowdfunded as well. So they are truly the definition of a successful independent band. They are a family band, as I mentioned. They're fronted by Sarah Menudakis on vocals and then Josh Morocco on guitar. Not sure if he's related to them. Andrea Menudakis on bass keys and David Menudakis on drums and their sound is a combination of genres including hard rock, progressive rock, alternative rock, heavy metal, and blues. Okay, so just a little background there. And then Michael in his request said that the band is a family band, the Menu Docuses, and they're all about the same ages as the Villarreal sisters from the band The Warning. And at the time that this song was recorded four years ago, the singer Sarah was only 15, so very, very young. I'm excited to check this out. The song is a long one, it's eight minutes, so I will be stopping a couple of times so that I don't get flagged or blocked. But as always, I will put the link to the uninterrupted video in the description box below. So if you wanna see the whole thing first or after my analysis, whatever you prefer, you can find it there. Two small announcements before we begin. One is that I do have my new beginner singing and beginner piano courses. If you've been wanting to begin on your own singing or piano playing journey, I would love to have you as my student. My courses are beginners. You need absolutely no prior knowledge or experience, and you get access to an online library of content as well as a chat feature so that when you submit your assignments, I can give you direct feedback and you can ask me any questions along the way 24 seven. There's also a community so that you can interact with your peers and stay inspired and motivated. And there is a monthly webinar. The first one is coming up on October 30th. You do not wanna miss that. It's like a master class. It's half an hour of instruction and then half an hour of questions and answers. The singing one is going to cover all of the basics of singing, so I will be teaching you about breast support and how to warm up your voice, how to select a song, all of that good stuff. And in the piano class, we're going to be learning a Halloween song. So it's going to be very exciting, very fun. I hope that you guys will join me. The other thing is if you want me to react to a specific song or artist, there are two ways to do that, either through the Patreon or directly through PayPal. And that information is in the description box as well. All right, so that's all the announcements. Let's jump into the good stuff and check out this song. This is the song Wide Awake, the title track off of their double CD. And the lyrics are, it's hard to see past this confusion. They've tried their best to make us blind. An endless spiral of deception, peel back the layers, see what you find. Welcome my friends to the grandest illusion. Please take a seat, don't be deceived. Open your mind to the endless vibration, free from the lies, truth never dies. Through all the smoke and cracking mirrors, their magic starts to fade away. Grasp is slowly loosening, the helpless creatures rise as their masters lose control. Welcome my friends to the cruel misconception. Following rules, looking like fools, we want no part of your pointless audition. These prison doors won't hold anymore. 
It makes no sense to point our fingers. Frustration only feeds their game. We're not all saints. They're not all sinners. Stop looking for someone to blame. I see through you. I'm wide awake. All right. So it sounds like <laughs> the song is about the mind control of some kind of ruling class and how those who are being deceived are going to rise up and see the truth. But then I like the twist at the end where it says, we're not all saints, they're not all sinners. Stop looking for someone to blame. So there's a little bit of ambiguity there as to who are the bad guys and who are the good guys. So let's check it out and hear what motion device Wide Awake sounds like. Obviously, very, very epic visually and in terms of sound right off the bat. It's very, very strong. I really like the slow tempo because I think it gives it like a certain amount of gravitas. And I love how simple the drum beat is and how everything is like playing on the beat, you know, <laughs> together. It really gives it this like strong kind of commanding presence and dark energy. So I really like it so far. It's hard to see past this confusion They've tried their best to make us blind An endless spiral of deception Peel back the hair, see what you find she has a very mature voice especially for her age i like when she started singing she gave a little bit of vocal fry that welcome my friends there is some similarity to the warning in that she does have a very very strong connected chest voice belt i like the simplicity of the melodic line meaning there's not a lot of ornamentation going on we're moving by a lot of steps <laughs> there are like big intervallic jumps there aren't a lot of neighboring notes or passing tones. It seems like a very, very simple, memorable melody. And I really like the way that she's singing. It's very sultry and sensuous, and it has a lot of resonance and richness to her tone. She's singing with a very low placed resonance and a lot of power. So, so far I really like it. I think she's got a really strong, interesting voice. And I love that. Da, 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 da. It's a very rich, round, strong, mature sound for someone so young. Really liking it so far.
interesting so far. I really like the visuals. I love that everybody's just like hanging there like marionettes. It's got this like carnival or like dungeon kind of feel. Very spooky and macabre. I love it. And that she's kind of like the only one that's moving and she's just got a really cool like laid back kind of sexy energy, especially for like someone that's so young, she's got a very confident air about her and a very strong voice. One thing that I will say that I don't know if I love yet is the guitar playing. I think because it is such a slow tempo, the soloing, I don't know if I agreed with a lot of the note choices. And also I found it a little bit distracting having the soloing going on while she was singing. I felt like the melodies were competing a little bit. I liked it better as the song went on, but I maybe would have changed that a little bit and given her voice a little bit more space or chosen some different notes, a little bit more sparse or something in the guitar because I found it a little bit distracting. But other than that, I'm really, really liking it. And I'm curious to see where it goes now that the video is going into color. <laughs> so let's check it out now that the band is waking up. <laughs> because I don't want to play it for too long so I get flagged. So I really liked the tempo change, how it got faster and a much more high energy when it went into color. And then I like this part where she's showing off her ability to sing in that more gentle way that I see through you. That was very pretty. And obviously since the song is so long and it has so many different parts, there, there is a lot of variety and it's cool to see how they structured it. It's not like your, your regular three and a half minute pop or rock song. It does feel much more epic and there are a lot more sections and a lot more developments. So I really liked when they had that that interesting twist in the lyrics where suddenly it's ambiguous as to like who's to blame and like who the bad guy is, that that's where it really changed energy and it suddenly went into color. I think it's very interesting, the development of the song and how they structured this epic masterpiece here. <laughs>
All right, so I thought that was really interesting. I'm glad that I've been introduced to this band. One thing that I really like about them is that they do seem like they're very creative and they're doing their own thing, so they have creative control. I thought that the video had a lot of interesting imagery in it. I really like the lead singer's voice. I think she has a very mature voice and she displayed not only her power belt, but also that nice gentle part. My critique of this so far is that it does feel like it was like unnecessarily long and a little bit meandering, you know, like I think it could have been tightened up a little bit. I don't know that it needed to be eight minutes in so many different sections. And the guitar player, I think, could be more... <laughs> more tasteful in his choice of what he's playing and I mean obviously they are very very young you know so I'm curious to see where they go from here but I didn't love the guitar playing I thought they could have been a little bit more tight and developed as a band but I think it's interesting and it's like a really really long complex song with a lot of different sections and so to pull off something like that is really ambitious and I think that they did a good job of keeping it interesting and I really like that there is so much here and they obviously are very very creative and they're just starting out there at the beginning of their career so I'm really curious to see where they go from here so overall I really really liked it thank you for suggesting that I look at this Michael I hope that you enjoyed my analysis and I'll see you guys here next time until then take care Happy music appreciating and of course, happy singing.